Hey, what's up, students? Let's do the double comrade. Match the phrase, the correct equation. <laughs> Typo two. The correct equation. All right, so we go. It says right here, Tom makes 10 more dollars than Jim. So um, it's basically Tom and Jim or Tim and John. I can't remember the names will change, um, but it's going to be the same number kind of throughout the whole story. There's going to be like more. There's going to be less. There's going to be some type of ratio. Tom makes $10 for each that Jim makes. And then Jim, it's going to flip around. Jim makes $10 for each that Tom makes. So the easiest one to spot is there should be one that says something about Tom makes a dollar for each that Jim makes. Oh, so they make the same. So that's going to be this equation right here. I'm going to match those up right there. That's not a very good arrow. Again, I'm still working on my new drawing tool. And my drawing skills are pretty weak. There we go. It's not too bad. They make the same. So Jim equals Tom. All right, let's try one thing that for even myself, I just the words to the equations can get kind of tricky sometimes, but if you throw in some numbers, they can kind of decode what's going on there. So let's do Tom makes 10 more dollars than Jim. So let's say Jim makes $50. Uh, and Tom makes 10 more than Jim. So that means Tom would make $60. Now, if you put in $50 for Jim, which one would equal $60 for Tom? Let's see here. Not 10 times Tom equals Jim. I don't think so. Would Tom plus 10 equal Jim? I don't think so. Tom actually makes 10 more than Jim. So I think it would work for this one. Yeah, because if you put Jim's $50 in right there, 50 plus 10 would equal 60. So this guy right here would match to that guy right there. All right, cool. Um, that can kind of make the next one a little bit more easy. Tom makes 10 less than Jim. So I think this one would match this guy. So again, let's say the Jim makes 50. If Tom makes 10 less, that means Tom would make 40. So I think that would go into this one right here, because if you put the $40 for Tom right there, plus the 10, that would equal the 50 for Jim. So this guy is gonna equal that guy right there. All right, <clears throat> now the $10 for each, this is where it's gonna get kind of tricky. Tom makes $10 for each that Jim makes. So let's say Jim now makes $5, right? Tom would make $10 for each dollar he makes. So that means Tom would actually make $50. So I think we're going to take Jim's dollar amount times 10 to get Tom. So let's see here. I don't think that one works. This one takes Tom's times 10 to get Jim's. Plus that wouldn't work. If you put the $5 in here and the 50 over there, that wouldn't work. I think this is your winner right here. Here we go. One tenth. So if you put the $50 for Tom right there one tenth of tom's dollars would be jim's okay um, so if tom makes 10 times as much you could also say that tom makes one tenth this is probably going to be these right here jim makes ten dollars for each that tom makes so now tom let's say tom's got the five dollars jim would make the 50 now okay uh, so if we put in the five dollars for tom 10 times 5 would make 50. So there we go. This guy matches this guy. Oops, I forgot the, the last one. There we go. And then you would go straight across right there. All right. So again, if the wording gets confusing, because sometimes it can, you see the plus, you see the minus. Um, it's not as easy as it seems, but if you throw in some dollar amounts and you use a little bit of mental math, then everything will be okay. All right, friends, that was the double comrade.